Right guys, we're back with another video. Welcome to it. My name is James Langton. I was on the Tinder Top 30 Most Right Swipe list of 2019. And since then, I've been the founder of Data Help. So we're gonna be looking at what is going on in the world of Reddit regarding the topic of Tinder. So without further ado, let's get into it. I would like a solicited nature fact. Biologists estimate bears eat 200,000 salmon a year. Salmon attack on bear, however, is much more rare. If I were a salmon, I would take out all my fish anger on a bear. Think you'd be an angry salmon just raging under the current i'd be f furious rage against the stream oh my god also just as well while i've got your attention i've actually created an online dating app course where i'm going to help you take new photos select and retouch your current ones write a bio keep conversations alive on dating apps gain more matches turn your matches into dates what to wear and where to go on a first date so if that sounds like the kind of thing that you'd be interested in tap the link in the description Hey, hey Rach, how is your night going? Yeah, not bad, just gaming and chilling. You, cute, surprise you messaged me, I regret it. <laughs> okay, that one's bumble, doesn't matter, it can stay in there. What we got next? Question for you all, I matched with someone on the H app. <sighs> I think that means hinge, but okay. I replied uh, to a prompt, yep, yeah, definitely hinge. I replied to a prompt, she matched slash replied maybe a week or two later. It was a positive response. I replied to that later that night. It's been a week since I've heard anything. I'm completely okay if she's busy or doesn't check app often or found another date, but how long do I wait to check back in and what should I do? Try not to come across de as desperate, but I'd really like to pursue this match. Well, here's what you need to do with that. Literally just say, hey, by the way, I don't really use this app much. Is there any chance we could talk on another platform? So it's either Instagram or WhatsApp or iMessage or anything. You just wanna give your details and leave it at that. If that person messages you, that's great. If they don't message you, just don't worry about it. Just move on to the next person. What do you all do during the time between deciding on a first date and meeting up? Conversation has pretty much dried up. I've been the only one starting conversations, so I figured it's her time. But it's been quiet and the date is on Saturday. Uh, when conversation dries up, it's usually because you're organizing a date too far away. So say if it's Monday, you want to be organizing the date for Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. If you're organizing it to the next week, that's way too long. Because you've got to remember, you're not a real person to the person you've matched with. You're just kind of still a profile on a dating app. So either you want to break it up by having a conversation or a FaceTime in between then, but try and meet somebody usually sort of 48 hours after moving them off platform and talking to them on Instagram or, or WhatsApp, for example. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that using Tinder is like trying to fish salmon inside a swimming pool? And now from a random profile review. Yeah, this is not a very good profile at all, dude. Um, all of the photos are just selfies of you in the car. You need some photos of you with pets. You need some photos of you with your friends doing the activities you enjoy and get other people to take the photos. Try for as little as one or two selfies on your profile. Seriously, they are no good. Draw me. Haha, <laughs> that would take a while. Calling me fat? No, not at all. People just take a while to draw. That's all. Okay, lol. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a bit of a um, the red flag there. We'll move on, but that's a pretty good meme. Cole, 21. Farm worker, love f***ing me dog and working outside. Dad jokes. My Tinder bio says I have a corner office with views of the entire city, drive a $500,000 vehicle, and I'm paid to travel. My dates are always upset when I tell them that I'm a bus driver. <laughs> explicitly state in my dating profiles that I only want sex. Meet up with someone and literally only have sex. Wake up feeling empty and feeling unfulfilled. Wake up feeling empty and feeling unfulfilled. Uh, can relate to that one, not gonna lie. Cool, we'll move on. Okay, so we've got another profile. Jules, 33, recently active. I'm looking for a sperm donor. Yes, I am serious. Yes, I'll pay you. Yes, we can have sex to accomplish this. And no, I don't want you to be my boyfriend. No Homer Simpson sperm, please. Uh, okay, so how much Homer Simpson sperm did she have before she said, mm, this is too much? I don't know, but um, yeah, this one's probably gonna be a hard pass for me. That would, uh, yeah, it's not, not great. Okay, here we go, another profile. Laura, 26, 47, alcoholic, unemployed, activist, bisexual, mum to three kids and five dogs, vegan, mentally unstable, divorced, widow, dead inside, chicken nuggets, addict. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen quite a few profiles like this before and a lot of them are actually real. So yeah, this will definitely be a left swipe. Okay, another profile, here we go. Lydia, 25, ed tech at a middle school, 79 miles away, fully vaccinated. Uh, okay, 
I've <laughs> I've herpes. Uh, got it from the first guy I slept with. I'm tired of men ghosting me when I have to tell them. Swipe left if you're not cool with it. Jesus Christ, the forbidden fruit. Yeah, that'd probably be a um a pass for me as well. You trying to be my daddy or no? Why is your mum single? <laughs> Amazing.